being conscious of time, um, perhaps we should go right now to um, the next bill, which is 106. 106, okay. This one had um, fewer changes, um, but they were, it was numbers. So the community schools, uh, when it came to us, it had 1,529,000 in the appropriation. And I think, again, that was off of an old bill that had been worked on maybe last year or something. And we realized that that wasn't the right number and that the right number needed to be um, $3,399,000. And this is all coming out of, it looks like ESSER 3 also. Um, and that's allocated over three years. So 1.1 million goes to the schools for their for the um, demonstration pilots, and that goes annually, 1.1 million a year. And then the set aside is 1% for informational and technical assistance, and 2% for the required evaluation. So that's the same construct that we had in, in H101, and and so that's 11,000 and 22,000, or 33,000 times three is 99,000. So that's how we get to 3.399 million. Um, and I think that was it that for our changes. Is that what you have, Jim? Yeah, I can walk through it if that's helpful. Mm -hmm. um, let me just grab the bill. This one here. Okay. Um, so again, for the record, uh, it's Jim Jamray. Jamray walking through um, uh, the community appropriations amendment to the Education Committee's report on H106. Um, section four is amended uh, to um, use $3.399 million. That was, as, be as before, 1.5 uh, approximately before. That's coming from um, ESSER three funds. Um, and that will fund all three years of the program. And then the set size for the agency, as mentioned, is 1% for each of three years uh, for informational and technical, and 2% for each of three years uh, for evaluations. And that's it. And I'll say that the vote on our amendment and on the bill was 830 in both cases. Questions? Representative Williams. Um, yes, uh, thank you. I was wondering if you could explain to me uh, the thought process of those who were against. I'm sorry, I couldn't. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm wondering if you could explain to me the thought process of the three that voted no. Um, I have limited information on that. Not everybody shared their thought process. One, but I can tell you that one person felt that maybe it was being done in some schools and that we didn't need it. Uh, however, I believe that we got testimony from this committee that um, there are many schools that would be eligible and they aren't necessarily doing these programs. So. Thank you. I believe they got confused with the fact that, you know, there might be a social worker in the school, but that's not a community skills, a community schools program. Right. That's part of Act 264 right. available. Anybody else? Okay. I take a motion to support the committee amendment on H106. I'll, I'll support that. Representative Austin. Moves that we support. Representative Cookley, is that a question? Or you're supporting? I'll second that. <laughs> you Okay, thank you. <laughs> Any discussion? Further discussion? Clerk shall commence to call the roll. Representative Conlin. Yes. Representative Cooperly. Yes. Representative Hooper. This is Hooper Randolph. I vote yes. 
Representative James, yes. Representative Toof. Yes. Representative Williams. Yes. Representative Arison. Yes. Representative Austin. Yes. Representative Brady. Yes. Representative Brown. Yes. Representative Webb. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'll get the order down. Sorry, it's my templates all messed up. <laughs> <laughs> we used to just going around the room. <laughs> that was the worst so far. <laughs> Pretty good. Praise God, everybody. <laughs> okay. So the next one is not you, um, Jim. Thank you so much. Yep, you're welcome. I'm gonna hop off.